Hello friends! Today I'm sharing with you a grocery haul that was actually from this weekend. I'm finally feeling better. Last week was a rough week. I had a ton of congestion and a runny nose. So this is a grocery haul from this past weekend. Um, I went to Trader Joe's with my mom and then also to the discount grocery store. I got a little bit there. So I am sharing that with you, that video with you now. If you are new here, welcome. My name is Lisa and I am a homeschool mom of five. I've kind of been taking a break from my homeschool videos and just doing grocery hauls right now. Um, and that probably will continue until the new year. So plan to get back to um, homeschool videos at the new year. So I have some videos planned then and stick around if you're into that. Subscribe if you like to see grocery hauls. I post them every Friday unless, of course, I get sick. So I just posted a short um, emergency grocery haul this last Friday instead of a longer one because I was sick. So I hope you enjoy this haul. All right, so this is everything that I got from Trader Joe's and then a little bit over there from the discount grocery store. Um, you have to excuse my cold <laughs> voice. Um, I have a little bit of a cold going on and these were super cute. My kids are gonna love these. Uh, they are the advent calendars with chocolate in them. They had different ones, um, but I got everyone the same one and then I'm just gonna write their names on them. So yeah, they have, it says, it's also got a country crossword on the back. So that'll be fun. And this says over the, river and through the woods. I think they had um, a, let's see, a nutcracker and a Santa cookie one and then one with like sloths on it, Christmas sloths. So that is what we got for my five kiddos and then grabbed four dozen eggs, two of the pastures and two of just the regular. Grabbed two loaves of sourdough bread for the kids and then I saw this cheese they always like to try new cheese this one is grass-fed new zealand sharp cheddar cheese so thought we'd try that with some snacky lunches and then i figured we'd probably have some hot chocolate here pretty soon in the as the weather is getting colder so i grabbed these for the hot chocolates and then i grabbed just kind of an assortment of these fruit leather buttons um, I'm going to put those in their stockings, so I thought they'd like those. Grabbed some mandarins for the week, and then this no sugar, um, just, just peanuts, peanut butter, and some of this organic midnight mood chocolate syrup for a fun treat for a themed movie night, Christmas movie night coming up soon. And then... Grabbed a bag of carrots because my kids love carrots and some sugar snack peas because they like those as well for snacking on. Grabbed some organic spring mix for some salad and some of the zucchini. My kids don't love zucchini, but I do. And then they also gave a, um, me a flyer in the bag, so that's kind of nice. I'll look through that. And then over here from the discount grocery store, I grabbed this um, no sugar added applesauce pouches for $4.49. And then this sparkling water, we tried it last time, the tangerine and wild strawberry, and that was $1.99. I love getting their sparkling water there because it's way cheaper. And so we don't drink soda and things like that. That's what we do as our treats um, on our family movie nights and things like that. So grabbed some uh, more of these omega-3 kids vitamins for $1.00. 99 and then these Stacy's pita chips for our snacky lunch. Those ones, let's see, were $2.49. Grabbed some of these fruit rolls. They're basically like the fruit leathers. There's no sugar added, just fruit. Um, the mango ones, $2.75. We had strawberry last time and they were really the kids loved those. So Grab those, and then these are kind of like they're they're like kind bars. They're paleo friendly, um, 
but there are six in the pack and they were $3.59. Grabbed some more of my favorite granola, this grain-free banana nut butter, purely Elizabeth brand for 99 cents. And that is everything that we got for this week. And be sure to stick around if you want to see my upcoming Christmas haul for my kids and for my five kiddos and more grocery hauls next Friday. I'll talk to you guys in the comments below.